Hello and welcome to the series on Revelation. Praise the Lord. Um, here we are in the Revelation series. We're on Revelation chapter 13. Thanks for joining me. Um, to those few of you that are joining me on this series, um, you know, I, I consider it a great honor to have you uh, journeying with me. So we're on Revelation 13 and we've still got this vivid imagery going on. So if you've watched um, the previous video, chapter 12, we had these. Uh, be we had the uh, woman. We had the dragon with the seven heads. Now then, in chapter thirteen, we have two beasts described. The first beast is described in the first half, and then the second beast is described in the second half. Um, and the first beast it represents sort of the military powers. So we've got like um, the you know Rome and basically the military powers throughout the generations and obviously in the last days um, and also the second beast uh, represents sort of um, a false prophet a, a um, someone who is going to ask that or at least a, a demonic system that's going to ask that we pledge allegiance or at least there'll be one uh, who speaks uh, on behalf of a God um, and will be like a, a, a prophet and a false prophet to the Antichrist. Um, and then obviously at the end of the passage, in, in the, right at the end, we have um, the famous number 666, the mark of the beast, to pledge allegiance to um, the worldly systems, if you like. So we've got these two beasts. Um, and they will come against, it says uh, in chapter uh, verse 7, I think, or, or verse um, uh, towards 5, 6, and 7, um, that he, God will allow this first beast, which is the military power, to have authority over um, the saints, to overcome them. So basically, these military powers will rise up in these, in these moments, in these last days, and will come against the people of God, um, and God will allow them to, to, to be killed. Um, you know, and to he who overcomes will be rewarded. So um, there's no need to fear, um, because our eyes are on heaven and, and we're in another realm. We're already there at the right hand of God, you know, that's what the Bible teaches, is that we're a new creation and we're, we're there with the saints in heavenly places. Hallelujah. So that's just a bit of um, insight there for you. So, as I say, the first beast um, will be, represents the military powers coming against the people of God. The second beast is like the economic systems um, and there'll be a false prophet that rises up the Antichrist and says, pledge allegiance to the systems, pledge allegiance to the world, pledge allegiance to um, the government, pledge allegiance, you know, and um, yeah, so just to elaborate a little bit more before we finish today's thought, um, the number 666 uh, actually means Antichrist um, in Hebrew, uh, it means the beast, um, I'm just looking at my notes over there, it means the beast and um, basically it will be the worldly systems wanting us to pledge allegiance. So people um, pontificate about this, like, um, for example, the chip in the hand. Well, if you have a chip in the hand, you're pledging allegiance to the government by basically letting them track you wherever you go. And, and, and to a certain extent, we have um, the phones doing that already. And who knows what the governments are up to, um, you know, power hungry and all this. But... 
Um, certainly if we take a chip, um, then they'll have complete control over us. Um, so people say, well, absolutely not. I'm not taking the chip. I'm, um, and then the mark on the forehead. Well, you'll remember the Shema, um, which is hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Um, and people pledge allegiance to God and it's the prayer of Israel. And the 666 is kind of an anti-Shema. It will be pledging allegiance to the systems of the world. Um, so don't do it. Um, we don't have to bow to the government. We bow to God. Uh, he ha God has all authority, all dominion. Jesus uh, is the name above every other name. At his name, every knee will bow. Um, the, he is God. He is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So there you go. So... Um, don't pledge allegiance to the governments. Um, just give your life to the Lord. Amen. All right. Uh, nice to see you. I'll see you next time.